Coming up on Brick Nerd, we're going to take a look at some crazy bricks products, put together the Batman Tubbler, and take a look at Metal Beard's glorious sea cow. All that in the latest Lego news, kind of. Coming up on Brick Nerd. Welcome to Brick Nerd, your source for Lego news, reviews, and the Lego fan community. If you're nerdy about the bricks, you come to the right place. First up, the news. Or, well, there would be if I was actually going to do news. The only news I have to report this episode is that I'm no longer doing news. Uh, let me explain. One of the things I hate about watching an old DVD or Blu-ray is when I'm forced to watch trailers for movies that are already out. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine, and I realize that when you're watching an old episode of Brick Nerd, you're watching news that is no longer relevant at all. I don't want to do that anymore. So, from now on, no more news. I'm just going to go right into the show. How about that? Like it or not. Uh, if you have a problem with that, please let me know. Um, if it's something popular and you guys really, really want to see it, then I'll put it back in. But with this episode, there's no news. But what I do have is some skulls. You may remember from the Halloween episode. You did see the Halloween episode last year, didn't you? Uh, Guy Himber at Crazy Bricks was doing a, a Kickstarter for these things at the time, and uh, they're here. They're finally here. They've actually been here for a little while, but uh, you can actually get your grubby little mitts on them now, and they are pretty fantastic. There's actually four different skulls. There's a, a larger size skull, which is more to the size of a minifig head. There's a smaller skull, which is kind of like the size of the skull that would be inside a minifig. Uh, there's a smaller skull that's got a stud on top, so if you want your skull to be wearing a hat or some other head accoutrement, then uh, you can have that. And I think my favorite, the top of the skull only, no, no jaw. And I think that's kind of cool. They're fantastically detailed. I mean, you take a magnifying glass to really see all the detail on these things. Or go to the website, you can see some great pictures of them. Go to crazybricks.com. Um, one of the things I put together here, I got a little uh, Hail Hydra, Ooh, Red Skull, I put together a little Terminator dude here, a T-800, uh, your classic Lego skull, well skeleton, and uh, good old William Shakespeare here, alas poor Yorick, I knew him well. The guy also sent over some of these cool little books that he's made, uh, they're Similar in size to the Lego books, are a little thinner, but they actually hinge instead of just folding on the plastic. So the plastic doesn't get those yuck, ugly white edges on it where they fold it over, and they won't fall apart like those ones do. Um, they actually could also be used as a laptop. I think with a different little sticker on them, totally convincing laptop. Um, I only have he sent over three colors here. There's like a, a glow in the dark, and a, a tan and a white. I don't know if it's going to be in any other colors, but I'm sure you can check out crazybricks.com for more information on those. He's actually got another Kickstarter started for uh, Munchkin Bricks. It's actually funded in another 24 hours, and now they're hitting stretch goals. So head over there and check it on out. Now let's take a little bit and put together one of my favorite superhero vehicles, the Tumbler from Batman Begins. This cool little poly bag. That is a 30300. Very fun little set. Pretty easy to put together. Pretty quick. And uh, let's take a peek at it. Slap it together now. It helps to have dramatic music.
Batmobile Tumbler. It's actually a really neat little poly bag set. Um, I'm not sure how many pieces are in it. Let's see. 57 pieces. But they're in a really cool little package there. Um, there's some fun, you know, non studs on top of construction, you know, building sideways on it. There's some cool, like, uh, half stud offsets using jumpers and uh, some stuff to get to the, the bricks to the center. So there's some clever building techniques to get a really cool vehicle in a very small package. And it, you can totally tell by looking at it, that's the tumbler. Very cool vehicle. Cool little set. Head on out there and pick up one of those bad boys. So, let's take a look at Metal Beard Sea Cow. This is a cool ship. This is a really cool ship. In fact, I think this is the coolest ship that LEGO's ever produced. Uh, the Imperial flagship was pretty nice. and I was uh, just messing with it recently because we put it in the LEGO documentary. But, uh, I don't know. This is a cooler ship. It's a massive set. It took me 10 hours to put this thing together. I think it's 40... 2,700 pieces? One moment. 2,741 pieces. That's a big set. Um, no, it's not the biggest set the Legos produced by, by any stretch, but uh, it's still pretty massive. Uh, it's a lot of fun to put together. Uh, if you join me on the live build, you, you have to see how much fun it is to put together. It's crazy amount of detail on it and uh, just a lot of crazy wacky construction just like everything else in the Lego movie um, it's one of the fun things about it is it's like you know it's completely unapologetic in how wacky it is it's like a it's like a Hummer or it's like a KFC double down you know, who cares it's we're gonna be what we want to be it is actually surprisingly light on play features um, I did not expect that and some things that you would expect to be simpler aren't. This little section in the middle here pulls out, but the front doesn't, and there's a whole section up here that you really can't get to. Um, this, the back here doesn't come off either, but the sides open up so you can access what's going on inside there. So That's kind of fun. Um, metal Beard will actually set up in this top section here uh, just barely he kind of only just fits in there um, and this is actually a really cool I don't know if you've built the other metal beard set but this is kind of a scaled down version to more match the scale of the ship 
So it's actually like the second metal beard that's actually out right now. Um, you do get a, a cast of other characters. You get Wildstyle, you get Benny, you get Vitruvius, you get Seasick Munikitty, who's got a little fun coloration on her, and of course Emmett. Um, the uh, double-decker couch, always a, always a crowd pleaser there. A couple micromanagers. Uh, there's one one of the play features is on here. It's got the little net thing to catch guys, but uh, you know those kind of almost never work. Um, the uh, the larger one has got these fold up sides and flick fire missiles, which also never really work. I hate flick fire missiles. But the set itself. Uh, what it lacks in play feature, it makes up for in scale and beauty, because it is really nice looking. You can uh, lower the, the double-sided anchors simultaneously with this little knob here. That's kind of fun. Uh, the, whoops! Oh no, I broke it. The uh, cannons are uh, the firing kind of cannons. So you can actually load them up and put somebody's eye out. Not really. Put this back together here. Um, the chains that are hanging on it, if you put it on any surface that gets disturbed at all, it's going to drive you a little crazy because those chains are continually making that noise. Um, I guess it would take a little very slight modification and it wouldn't bother you anymore but you know, it was kind of bothering me when I was building it that they were continually rattling like that but once it's up on a shelf who cares but overall really impressive very nice set I highly recommend it and I will give it a five out of five nerdlies now let's take a look at some recently featured mocks I'm able to relive part of my adolescence thanks to Lego 27 bricks and his amazing Atari 2600 Suddenly my thumb aches. Weird. Here we see some action heroes in their more relaxed moments, thanks to McLean. It can't be all action all the time. Sometimes you just want to kick back with a beer and some pizza. This is one heavily armed recreational vehicle. It's the EM50 by BMW Indy from one of my favorite all-time movies, Stripes. And thanks to lighting from Brick Stuff, it's even awesome in the dark. Well, that about does it for this episode of Brick Nerd. Please subscribe, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and visit us at BrickNerd.com. Thanks for watching. BrickNerd 206. Finally.